Welcome to a soggy and chilly Clockner Stadium here in Charlottesville, Virginia, which tonight serves as the site for the NCAA quarterfinal round. A bit of the College Cup on the line as we welcome you to the grounds of the University of Virginia. Well, look, I'm going to start here. We'll start with defensive restarts. Expect something different from that, okay? Around our box, a quick little restart, a quick little play, okay? Don't be complacent. I, I honestly believe this game tonight could be a restart. A restart. Wins or losing. We've been very good on restarts. Yeah. We score goals on restarts. Do that. Be focused. Let's get off to a good start. Darius Madison does. He's inside the 18. Madison towards the end line. Looks to center. Tipped into the goal. A beautiful finish there from Virginia. Darius Madison connecting with Ryan Zink in 1 0 UVA. The play on sides and the who's on top. Darius did all the hard work. I mean, he played a great ball all week in practice. He's been doing really well for us, holding the ball up and uh, getting those crosses in. So he crossed the ball in, and we all week in practice we've been making good runs near post. I did that, and just it was a matter of me just being in the right spot. Darius did the work. And here comes the corner, sent in by Besso. Towards that far post, he got over Callie Brown. Still on. The opportunity fired into the far corner. And coming up from defense to fired into the back of the net is Kareem Morad for UConn. Despite more scoring chances, the Cavaliers and Huskies went to the half no closer to deciding a victor. Strategy didn't change. I mean, we, we wanted to keep pressing and keep going, and we do well in the second half. You know, like we do well in games in the second half, and uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't make one sub in the game. As the game ticked down and I thought about making some changes, I was going to leave that group on there to win the game because those guys, they just had to look in their eye. They had everything about them. That's the first time all year that, that I haven't made one change in a game. Coach Gelnovac's strategy paid off, and a dangerous restart from just outside the box led to the deciding moment for UVA in the 63rd minute. Headed in and blocked over the net. Boy, almost. The second goal of the night for Virginia. This one sent in short. And battled for it inside of the six. Sent into the back of the net. A finish and a beauty at that. Virginia retakes the lead. Uh, that was probably like a half, half bicycle kick. It was just kind of an instinctual thing, and the ball popped up, and I didn't really have time to think about it. It just kind of happened really quickly. And luckily, after we got that goal, we were able to bunker in and finish out the game, which was most important. You know, in that last 15 minutes, they they knew they were going. They, 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 we were winning two to one, and they were going to make sure they weren't going to get scored on. Eric Bird taps out near side. Ryan Zinkin will clear, and Virginia's going back to the College Cup. The College Cup is, is something special, so uh, uh, they deserve it. I told them to enjoy it until they're done showering in the locker room, and then we turn the page and get ready for the College Cup. We're going to enjoy it tonight and just turn the page tomorrow, and because they're still unfinished business, um, we got to go to the College Cup and. Uh, Make our mark. Let's go. Who's on three, baby? One, two, three. Oh. 